I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I find myself living in a music dichotomy at times and my attention can be split between academic music and social music as well and I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. I find it in my playing, in my singing, in my listening. The playlists that I've got at the moment on my phone are ranging from, oh let me think now, so I'm studying a, an opera school from the 1600s, Dido and Anais, and, and so I'm listening to that. And I wouldn't say I was listening to it for pleasure as such, though I do enjoy listening to it in a kind of academic sense and thinking about what I'm listening to and so on. But I don't think that's a relaxing listen. And, and then I've got the playlists of perhaps pieces that I'm practicing. I've got a playlist of what we're singing at choir and then I've also kind of got a random playlist which is full of all sorts of cheesy tunes. You know, I, I'll find myself listening to the Pepini Sisters or goodness knows what, just for a bit of kind of light relief. Very often, I don't often listen to music just for kind of background chill factor. I don't do background very well actually. I don't enjoy background music but just sometimes if the wind's in the right direction I'll just listen to some cheesy tunes as it were and it's the same with playing. So for the most part I find myself engrossed in academic playing as it were although I thoroughly enjoy it and I love the music but I'm listening to it on a more engaged level or I'm playing it with a more long-term pursuit approach than just kind of knocking out some tunes for fun as it were. And I, and I think that's a good thing. It's the, it's the same in choir. You know, we'll be spending our time practicing Mozart Requiem, which is quite involved and takes a good bit of study, especially when you get to like the fugal sections. But then we'll take a step aside. So we kind of switch lanes and then we just take a moment and we're just singing some cheesy Christmas tunes, hopefully for a concert. Goodness, that's been a while. And, you know, there's not a great deal of in-depth musical merit, but we're just enjoying a, a good old sing song with not a vast amount of rehearsal slog, as it were. And I think there's merit in both. I would perhaps suggest that it's important to not neglect the academic serious music as that were which which sounds a bit dry that does I don't mean that at all that is much my preference actually but if you've got the skills say for example working through the grades whether you take the exams or not it's irrelevant really that's just a matter of personal choice or necessity but if you work through a program of study and build up skill sets and technical ability scales and arpeggios, you've then got those skills to apply should you wish to switch lanes quickly and play just something a little less taxing and perhaps of more superficial musical merit in a sense to just then you've got the you've got the skills in which to do that quickly haven't you i found myself recently practicing some things that i would never thought to have practiced so i've been practicing and i've played the halo computer game theme tune and then i'm also playing some anime computer theme music from a, an anime game i think it's just from a particular character i don't know for one of my pupils because it's good to just switch lanes and take a moment. I'd be playing those for other people's pleasure and that's got merit also. And I'm learning new things and learning to enjoy new things as well. So, you know, it's all good. I think I can squeeze some educational value out of pretty much anything. Sometimes it's a good thing just to kind of knock out some tunes and just busk away really. And there's a skill involved there. But I think it's much easier if you've got those skills in your fingers to then translate it into just any kind of tune you feel like. And it's good to kind of just switch lanes occasionally. I'm thinking particularly perhaps of a case where one of my pupils likes to play old hymn tunes. Well, a couple do actually. But they're quite kind of simple versions that have, are written on the page. Whereas because they know their scales and arpeggios, they can kind of bolster out the harmonies and do a little bit of improvisation, making those chords fuller to their own taste, as it were. The same if you're playing just kind of a popular tune, if you can just kind of busk out a tune, if you know 
your scales and arpeggios, you can easily fill in that bass part and create a more rhythmic accompaniment that might be given on the music. I found that definitely with some of the Christmas arrangements. It's like, well, that's a little bit thin on the ground. Let's just beef up those harmonies a little bit. It's the same with flute as well. If you want to kind of do a little bit of improvisation, you've got to know your scales and your arpeggios. If you want to go busking, Really, rather than just play out a, a simple melody, if you want to busk around those, you need to know your scales and your arpeggios. And I do think it's a good thing to just switch lane occasionally and then you get back onto the, the kind of the main carriageway, as it were, to continue building up your skill set and digging in to other things that would perhaps be a little more taxing. I just find it's really good to just take a, a wide view on it. You know, you've got your progression of study, but every now and then just switch lanes, have a go at something else, then you can just get back to what you're perhaps used to do. And if perhaps it's the other way around for you and you're more accustomed to perhaps play more socially, which is a great endeavor, it's, it's a value certainly, but sometimes just kind of switch lanes and take a bit more of a technical approach, dig a bit deeper, and then you've got those skills to reinvent something that you would play for fun later. And so you're traveling down this music highway, but sometimes you just want to switch lanes a little bit. And music is, it's a pursuit, it's something that we work on, we craft, we hone, we practice to do a good job and to build our skill set. But as I said before, music is to be heard, music is to be shared. So let's just take a step to the side sometimes and let's just play socially as well. If not in an ensemble situation, we all haven't got the opportunity to play with others, but we can certainly play for others and we can play for others' benefit or we can just play for our own benefit and just kind of take a chill and enjoy playing whatever falls under your fingers. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. Bye.